Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some more finer map details and make us move along in different places on the map. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and make a new backdrop for our new place. So let's duplicate this. Uh, let's change the name from Grass Mainland to Sand Mainland. There we go. And now let's make this a nice yellowy color. Are these two distinguishable? They are indeed. So once we've got the uh, sand main color, uh, obviously movement is locked in this area we won't be able to move. To fix this it's really quite simple. Just right click on this, duplicate, and now we have two of these. All we need to do is now change this to two uh, and go to operate, operators, the, get the AND block as you know, get the ore block, uh, drag these in like so. So, now so we explained this last episode, but basically the new sand scene is now index 2 in the backdrop, so by saying if backdrop number equals 2, you're also including the sand scene. Now if the backdrop is number 1, which is grass mainland, or if it's number 2, which is sand mainland, we shall be able to move. So we can't actually test this because we haven't programmed the map to uh, pop up and say hey uh, do you want to go to the sand place which is what we're going to do now. So the first thing we want to do is just grab a sprite. I'm going to grab a nice button one here. Here we go. I'm just going to call this map uh, v1 and first thing we want to do is scale it down. Let's make this about 20 of this size, actually let's make that a bit bigger maybe 50, that's too big let's go 25 so now we have our main place, let's center this on screen because there we go, now this is our main place and I'm actually going to duplicate this and fill it with a nice grey colour now we have button 1 and button 2 so the first thing we want to do is go to events when green flag clicked, looks, switch costume to costume 1 and don't want to add a comment so now there we go and we also want it to stay locked into 0, zero. so let's forever lock it into this position um, and we only want it to appear on a certain map. So let's go events. When backdrop switches to grass mainland, let's duplicate this and duplicate it again. Let's go looks. Let's go hide, hide, show. Let's clean these up. Grass mainland, sand mainland, and map. So now if we do this, as you can see, our character is nice and happy. Let's go on the map and Currently the button does nothing if we click it, because we haven't coded it just yet. If we move it, the uh, button will just continue to stay and go teleport back to the main position, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. It's probably also worth noting that players can't actually move the object in-game. It's only the person actually in the editor that can move it. So only you can actually move it. The players can't move it. So you've got nothing to worry about there. So now what we want to do is make it so when we touch the button with our mouse cursor it changes or when we press it it changes. I'm going to do it so when it, when we press the button it changes. So we want to just put this in here, clean this up. Let's just move this down here a bit. There we go. When the sprite clicked we want it to switch to costume button 2. We want it to, actually let's just do it something else. Uh, so when green flag clicked uh, forever, if then, we're going to be sensing touching mouse pointer, switch costume to costume 2. Uh, my bad, we want instead of an if then, we want if then else. So now if we go touching mouse pointer will do this, uh, if we duplicate that it will be button 1. So now if we go to map, 
if we touch it and let go it will constantly switch between different uh, costumes uh, and it will change the appearance every time which is lovely let's just increase the size a little bit maybe to 30 uh, that. yep that's fine beautiful 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 let's now save and that is the first map van. that is grassland that is where everything just happens normally let's right click and duplicate uh, then if we go on to the map van like so we want to send this guy up maybe like here if we send this guy back to where he uh, originally was so zero zero on the y and the x axes and bp map bp2 don't know why i said bp uh not blueprints uh let's just put this guy up in the top right corner like this so now if we place him there we want to change these coordinates to the coordinates where he is located so let's 168 and let's make this 120 beautiful so now he will forever be in 120 so now we have two locations here let's actually make these work so if we go back to the map uh, clean up just in case, uh, let's clean up just in case clean up, I'm just going to make sure we all clean this up map BP1 uh, we want it, so if go to events, when sprite clicked uh, let's move this other way when sprite clicked we want it to send us to switch backdrop to grassland main there we go, we want to go to our main character we want to duplicate this uh, and sand mainland make sure he shows on sand mainland uh, map bp1 we want to do this for every single uh, sprite possible this one uh, already got it and this one's already got it perfect we want to switch backdrop to mm, grass mainland for map bp2 B2, we want to drag this code we just coded into bp drag this right here is there any code we're missing uh, no no there is not bingo uh, and we want this one to send us to sand mainland there we go so now if we go on the map, let's just check movement is working for everything, it is, map, we click him, and we go to this one, movement also works, let's just check if we click this now, and as you can see, this is where things have originally now started to, problems have started to arise. But no need to fear, we now go to over to our variables, make a variable, and now we can call this backdrop this is basically gonna like save and store which backdrop you are at uh, so let's say if I'm on the sand and we open the map and we close the map it will bring us back to sand that's just how it works and that's how we want it to work so obviously when we start we want us to start at uh, backdrop at 1 now the reason why we start at 1 is because we want it to align with this so we start at backdrop 1 in our case which is grass mainland uh, if we open the map we want it to set it to 3 if we close if we click on map BP B2 we want it to send us to number 2 so in theory when we set it to 1 it will coexist with grass mainland and map close uh, we want to go to map B1 switch backdrop we want to set this to 
1. Same thing for B2, we want this to set it to 2. And when we open the map, we don't actually want to change it, but instead, when we click on this, we now want to code it so we go control. If then operators grab the equal sign, go to variables, and backdrop equals to one, switch backdrop to grass mainland. And we want to duplicate this, change this to two, and do sand mainland. Let's just make sure that our sand mainland is number two. It is indeed. Perfect. And so uh, now we need to make sure it everything works. It does. Now let's give this a little test run. So uh, if we show this, yep. Okay, so backdrop is one. Perfect. Open up the map. Click this. Open up the map. Click this. We're still in the desert. Which is absolutely lovely. Let's click this. And this is this beautiful it works absolutely amazing now we can hide this variable again and now that is basically the map done we can now make more multiple locations and as many locations as you guys want and you feel is necessary I do I do want to say don't fill your map up too much we don't want to flood the game too much because we've still got plenty more episodes to come, plenty more things to come. It's it's going to be mad, and I hope you guys stick around for the whole series. I hope you guys enjoy the series, because this series is going to be a banger. But if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And I just thought I'd like to mention that the next video we will be covering NPCs, maybe even currency and maybe even a new location into the game. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Leave a like and subscribe.